Hey there Emerson Eagles, this is your math lesson for the week of May 18th. Um, this week we have a couple of diff we have two different math goals. Our first goal is I can add multiple numbers. Multiple means more than one. So we're going to be looking at adding three and even four numbers all at the same time. And our second goal is I can solve story problems within 1,000. So we've been working on adding and subtracting numbers within 1,000, so numbers bigger than 100. And today we're going to be working on a few story problems within 1,000. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about in this lesson is um, adding consecutive numbers or adding numbers uh, where you're doing more than two at a time. Okay, so if you look at this poster behind me, I have an example up here. This is actually an example from your homework, so you should be able to do this when you get to your homework. But the first one is 15 plus 16 plus 17 plus 18. Now that seems like a lot of numbers at once, um, and that's okay because it is we're doing four numbers all at once, um, and there is a couple of different ways that you can try to solve this. So the first strategy, strategy number one, is to just add the first two numbers first. So I'm going to put this a little closer just so you can see. So if we add the first two numbers first, we would add 15 plus 16 first. We're just taking the two, number, two first numbers out of that equation. 15 plus 16 equals 31. Step two is we're going to add the next two numbers, 17 and 18. We're going to take the second two numbers out of that equation up there. 17 plus 18 equals 35. Step number three is we're going to add the sums together. Remember the word sum means answer to an addition problem. Okay, so we take those two sums, 31 plus 35, and add them together. If you're adding bigger numbers like that, you can always stack them, or you can just um, do it in your head or however you need to do that problem, whatever strategy you want to use. 31 plus 35 equals 66. Okay, another strategy that you can use is to stack all of the numbers. Okay, so I stacked 15, 16, 17, and 18. My uh, step number two after I stack them is to add the ones place up first. So when I add the ones place up first, I'm adding 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8. You can even make it smaller than, than that and add 5 and 6 together, add 7 and 8 together, and then add those two sums together. When you add up the ones place, 5 plus 6 plus 7, Okay.
Remember, you can use the stacking method. Seventy-eight minus fifty. I need to figure out how many more books I have. So, seventy-eight minus fifty. Just like we've practiced, you can draw this using base ten blocks. You can um, stack the numbers. Whatever strategy works best for you. I want you to go ahead and try to do this on your own paper if you're practicing along with me. If you want to pause the video, you can, so that you can have some time to work out this problem. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stack them. I always start in one's place. 8 minus 0 is still just going to be 8. And 7 minus 5 is 2. If your answer is 28, you are absolutely right, except we can't forget when we're working with a story problem, we have to use words. So we say 28 more books. Okay? If you're doing this on your own um, worksheet, you'll probably want to put that on uh, in the answer space. So you'll say 28 more books. Okay, so we did the first part of the problem, but the next part says explain how you figured it out. I want you to think, how would you explain how you figured that out? What words would you use to describe how you solved that problem? When we're doing this kind of problem, we want to start with, I know because You could also say, I figured it out by, I'm going to say, I know because I used subtraction to find the difference. 
between 78 and 50. That's how I chose to answer that question. You might choose to answer it in a little bit different way and that's okay. As long as your answer makes sense and it explains to somebody else how you got your answer. Okay, let's look at the next part of the question. So in this story, my sister and I went shopping. We bought a whole bunch more books. We went you know, to the bookstore and got more stuff. Now, Miss Curry has 178 books and her sister has 150 books. How many more books does she have? Okay, so I want you to remember last time we had 78 minus 50. Do you think we're gonna subtract again? If you said yes, you are absolutely right. We are gonna go ahead and subtract again. So, on your own paper, see if you can figure out what your number sentence will be this time. Okay, I'm gonna say, because I know it's subtraction again, 178 minus 150. Right now, I want you to make a prediction. Thinking about the last problem we did, make a prediction. What do you think the answer to this problem might be? Okay, if you need to pause the video to try to solve the problem on your own, go ahead and pause it. Again, I'm gonna try stacking the numbers. You don't have to do it that way. You can draw a picture. When I subtract, I'm always going to start in the ones place. 8 minus 0 equals 8. 7 minus 5 equals 2. And 1 minus 1 equals nothing. I'm not going to put a 0 there because it's at the front of my number, and I, I'm not going to do that because it, wouldn't, it doesn't need to be there. My answer is 28 which means I got the same answer as last time. The numbers on the top weren't the same. My equation wasn't exactly the same, but I got the same answer. Think about what you notice and why that might be. Why do you think that 178 minus 150 gives you the same answer as 78 minus 50? If you're thinking, oh, well, that's just because we added 100 and then we subtracted that 100, you are absolutely right. You could explain that in a whole bunch of different ways. Okay, so I'm going to say the same thing again. 28 more books. And you might also, in your homework, be asked to explain what you notice. You might say, I notice that the answers are the same, even though our problems were a little bit different. Okay, great job, second graders. So this week, while you are doing your homework, I want you to make sure that you are in the right section of your homework. You all have a whole bunch of packets that look like this. I want you for the homework, you're going to look for one that says homework here instead of classwork. And in this section, it'll say unit 2.8. This is not the one that you're going to be working in. This is just the example that I have. This one says 2.10. You're going to be looking for 2.8. Okay. And in unit 2.8, we are looking or we are working in lesson series 3. So all of your homework pages are from 2.8 lesson series three. Okay, you'll know if you're doing the right pages of homework if down at the bottom of your homework pages, way down here in tiny letters, sorry, it would say 2.8 lesson series three. Okay, so make sure you're doing the right homework this week. If you're not sure what the pages look like, please go to the document that we post on the Emerson website. Look at the pictures of the worksheets that I post so you know if you're doing the right ones. 
And as always, send pictures of your work to your teachers because we love to see the math that you're doing um, and see how you're working on it. And also, we're happy to answer questions. If you have any, you can always message us on Class Dojo or contact us in any way that we've been uh, contacting each other before. All right, second and third graders, I hope you have a great week and are working hard on your math all week. Make sure that you are always um, checking your work and doing your best, working hard no matter what. Have a great week.